Sarah, Chris, so many of your family and friends, the people you love most, gathered here today. If just for a few minutes, all here to pour their good thoughts and best wishes and love for both of you into the air all around as you prepare to marry each other. Sarah, Chris, this is your moment. So before we get started today, I want to make sure that all of this doesn't just fly by you guys in a blur. I want you to have a chance to also appreciate this moment, to feel the love that surrounds you today. So I'm going to ask you guys to turn around and take a look at your world. All of the most... <laughs> people in your lives are right here. These are the people who have raised you. And each person here has helped shape you into the people you have become. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to just soak it in for a minute. And to all our guests here today, Sarah and Chris would like to thank you for your love, your help, and guidance over the years. Hopefully, you noticed the stones that were left on your chairs as you were finding your seats here. Sarah and Chris would like you to hold these stones during the ceremony today. Do your best to somehow take the love and friendship that you feel for these two people and transfer this great moment into those stones. Now, at the end of the ceremony, we ask that you place your stone in the vase as you walk out. And Sarah and Chris will keep this collection in their home for years to come as a reminder of the love and the support they have here today on their wedding day and throughout their marriage. <laughs> for those of you that do not know me, my name is Toby Hollis and I am married to Chris's oldest sister, Jamie which makes me Chris's brother-in-law. I have known Chris since he was 12, 13, and we have grown very close. After all of these years, I would be much happier if somehow we could find a way to drop the in-law part of the title and just stick with brother. For those of you that do know me, <laughs> You know that I can be a man of many words. Yeah. <laughs> and I do have a couple things I want to say here today. I clearly remember a while back being in Pittsburgh, visiting the Irvins. And on one particular night, we were getting ready to go out on the town. I remember Chris insisting that we be in a particular place at a specific time because he was very much looking forward to seeing and introducing to Stacy and Jamie and me a new interest <laughs> from Penn State named Sarah. Now I'm sure that all of you would agree with me that Chris is a fantastic storyteller. <laughs> Some might even say that from time to time, Chris can, shall we say, embellish his stories. <laughs> well, he is an Irwin. <laughs> so after enduring, so, enduring several hours of build-up about this Sarah, we have expected her to kind of float through the door. <laughs> Sort of this peaceful glow surrounding her, the light shining from the bottom. And we met Sarah that night and obviously had a chance to visit with her for a while as our first impression. And it was fantastic. She was funny, smart, beautiful. And we realized 
that this was one time that Chris did not embellish his story at all. And we could see why Chris was so wild by this young lady. And who knew that just nine short years <laughs> who you asked to stand here and marry you, my hope is that you always remember how lucky you both are to have found each other. I hope that you can always remember to be individuals and to give each other plenty of space to become, to be individuals. Because that is what attracted each of you to each other in the first place. But work together in your relationship. Marriage is, marriage is easy in the good times. It's easy to laugh and to celebrate and to have fun with each other, your friends, and your family. But ask anyone who is married, and they will agree, that there will be a few bumps along the way. And sometimes these bumps look an awful lot like mountains. But it's funny because each one that comes along will give you a new chance to work through it together. And every time you do, you will be stronger and your love will be deeper. I know that will happen for both of you. Why? Because you guys just work. So on behalf of everyone here, I want to say that we love you, we congratulate you, we look forward to being with you for many years to come watching and learning and helping whenever we can for you to grow as a married couple. 